Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. I'm here on this beautiful day in Albany's Washington Park. You can see the statue of Moses behind me. And this is going to be a very wonderful month coming in June. We have a lot of nice aspects. It begins with Venus and Mercury conjunct. The new moon is in Gemini, and then Jupiter goes into Cancer where it is exalted. So there's a lot of good things coming your way, and here's what this means for you. Scorpio, the month begins with a conjunction of Venus and Mercury in your ninth house that will be helpful in giving you an understanding of what other people believe and how they react when stimulated in the proper fashion. Now, you don't have to manipulate anyone. You just have to know how to inspire them. If you do, they will understand you better and they will follow your charismatic and powerful personality. The new moon shines her light on a new cycle. Scorpio, the new moon on June 8th falls in your eighth house of rebirth and sensuality, and that's your house. This is a good time to invest some extra energy into your intimate affairs. This can be with a business partner or in a deep personal relationship. Renewal and revitalization is your goal. So you must be willing to invest your passion and undivided attention in whatever projects you share energy with another. Before going on to the second half of the month, here's how a birth chart and a transit chart work. First, let's look at a birth chart. It is based on the time, date, and place of your birth. It is divided into 12 houses. Each represents an area of your life, like personality, love, career, relationships, etc. The planets in the birth chart represent your energy pattern or the potential for growth and success in your life. The sun represents your basic energy and purpose. The moon represents your emotional nature. And the ascendant, your personality and your outward expression. Each part of the chart has an important meaning. Here is a transit chart. The colored lines represent the movement of the planets for the next 12 months, how they relate to your birth chart, and therefore how they affect your life. Jupiter, the planet of expansion, will move through this area of your chart, bringing you opportunity here. Saturn will be moving through the sixth house for a whole year, making you take on more responsibility in health and work. And you can count on Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto to bring major changes into your life. So that is how a transit chart works. And this is one technique that astrologers use to make predictions. Now, back to your sign. Jupiter enters Cancer for the first time in 12 years. Scorpio Jupiter enters Cancer in your ninth house on June 27th. Now, this begins a 12-year cycle of growth. Jupiter is exalted in Cancer, and this is the house that he rules. So this can bring you some positive, long-term opportunities for travel, learning, and understanding. Take your thirst for knowledge and turn it into a banquet of understanding. Woo, that sounds good. You're more aware that success comes through cultural and educational involvements. Therefore, you must know what you believe and how you fit into society through those beliefs. That's how you get ahead. These predictions were just based on your sun sign. If you'd like to get some more accurate information based on your time, date, and place of birth, then just go to my website, professorastrology.com, and you'll find a way where you can order a transit chart that is based on your time, your date, and your place of birth, and it's personalized to you. 
Now, if you would like to, you can subscribe to these videos, the button someplace down there. You can like them if you would like. They're free, so you can share them with your friends. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. And I hope that you have a great month.